Hey guys, welcome back to Release the Crafting and welcome back to another day of Povember. That's hashtag Povember24. This is day 22. The prompt for today is uh, Rosemary and we are still in the sleeper poem. And you guys, uh, <laughs> I am recording this a little bit after the fact and I am already so sad that we are nearly the end of the month uh, because this is honestly just one of the funnest challenges I think I've done this year and I'm having such a good time and I don't want it to end so I hope that you guys are really enjoying the things and that you're checking out all the other people uh using the hashtag povember24 here on YouTube as well as on Instagram because there's some really cool stuff being made I'm not gonna lie I've been really impressed with what I've seen so far so like everyone's making really cool things and we're having a really good time so I hope that you guys are enjoying it as much as I am and uh for Rosemary I thought that I would do um like a little shaker like a little specimen shaker type thing. I wanted to keep like a, a little bit of rosemary in play in a sort of specimen way, but then I couldn't think of like a good way to do it because rosemary is just like a funky looking weed <laughs> of a plant. Like it's not a weed, it's a, it's a beautiful herb, but uh, it's actually a delicious herb. But it doesn't look great when it's dried. It just looks like little little bits of green. So I was like, okay, how, how can you do this in a way that's like aesthetically, visually pleasing? So I decided to turn it into like a shaker. And I went back to um, that beautiful death book that I have that has all those beautiful pictures of uh, like the statues and monuments in cemeteries and um I picked out a really great image and then I was like thinking about how I could combine the rosemary with other things to sort of get across like a sort of melancholy grief filled atmosphere because that's definitely what Poe writes about the most is dealing with grief and loss so I picked out an image I really liked and I started to look into herbs that were good for grief and settled on uh, some rosemary and some rose, although I don't really think it's rose, honestly, but it's, you know, it's, it's dyed. It's, it's like a seed pot or something. I don't know, but it looks like rose leaves to me. So I think it'll, it's going to do the trick. I think it's going to work for what we have going on here. And yeah, I'm going to just turn that into a shaker and I've, I've made lots of shakers on this channel and done a couple tutorials. So I don't really feel the need to like break down all the steps, but essentially I'm just turning this envelope into a shaker card, um, using the template that the envelope has given me to get a nice little square out of the deal and, uh, cutting out a little window. And then I'm going to add some acetate and make sure that I get my image inside and yeah, that's, that's essentially everything I am doing here. Um, I honestly just wanted to talk about other things today. <laughs> I don't know why, um, but I will continue to explain things as, as things go. I'm not going to leave you guys high and dry on what I'm doing here. Right now I'm just inking stuff up, so that's not super interesting. Um, but yeah, I've been seeing some really great stuff. And then of course, because I'm doing all the Povember things and all this stuff, I keep getting Poe stuff like on all of my feeds, even um, on Pinterest. Pinterest is like, you want more Edgar? And I'm like, I absolutely do want more Edgar. I love that. Uh, it's the one time the algorithm is algorithming in my favor, I think, because I'm getting all the things that my spooky creepy heart desires and it's just been very it's been very satisfying so after cutting out the acetate and getting my glue to it um I stick I stuck my image in first which I probably could have done before I stuck anything down honestly but you know, you know, it is what it is um and then I managed to slide the acetate in by cutting it slightly smaller than my envelope but not so small that I would have to like mess around with it um, to make sure that it's covering all edges of the window. So like that's I guess a tiny tip if you are doing something like this where you're building a shaker or a window into an envelope. If you cut your acetate just slightly smaller than your envelope for your window, um, you don't have to fuss with it. It becomes a lot, a lot less fussier. Um, and then I just decided that it needed a little something extra because like yeah the rosemary was going to be the standout thing here but I wanted it to be more visually appealing. So I have these like black line uh, stickers that are impossible to remove from their backing, uh, but I insist on using them all the time. So I thought they would add like a cool line, a bit of line art that you wouldn't necessarily see looking at the black and white image directly, but you would see when the rosemary slid underneath it, you'd be able to see the flower images underneath. And then, um, I would recommend if you're going to do something like this that you actually make sure that the side that you think is the right side is the correct side up because I realized after the fact that this was not the correct side and had to just sort of pivot and flip it around and go for the best. I could have picked a different uh, flower, but I chose to just commit to the bit because 
if nothing else, I am consistent on this channel of making problems and solving them. Um, so yeah, I managed to, to weasel it under there in a way that I thought worked out visually. I had to add a little bit of glue because I did weasel it under there. Um, but the stickers came out great, and I think they look really great once the, the shaker contents slide underneath them. You can't really tell too much when you're looking at it just like this on camera, but once the, the little contents of the pocket get underneath, it looks great. So I really love that little effect. It's like a surprise little shadow leaf. So I'm adding in some rosemary. Um, from my witchy apothecary stash because I have so much. I actually love this herb so much. And then these are the uh, little dyed petals that I was talking about. I think they're great. They add a nice little fun pop of color in an otherwise very like morose landscape. And then I added in some lavender because that also is an herb for grief and uh, healing. So I thought, you know, it all works. And it's it's got a little bit of extra oomph from all the little properties. And it shakes beautifully and it's really nice. And I really love how this came out. I'm very satisfied with it, and I hope that you guys are enjoying it. Oh, I forgot to mention I went back and sewed it after the fact to seal everything in there. So, yeah, I think it looks great. I love the backing paper. I love this pocket. I love just this entire effect. So, yeah. That's everything I have for today, guys. Definitely come back tomorrow, see what we make for Povember. Uh, hashtag Povember24. And check out the playlist to see everything that you may have missed. Um, I will be back next time, guys. Happy crafting. I appreciate your faces. Bye.